Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from mensuration. Now, this question has two sub questions, and each sub question is again divided into two. So, the first sub question is A. We can see that it is divided into two sub questions, and there is another question B, which is again divided into two sub questions. Now, let us start with the A sub question. The diagram shows a solid formed by joining two hemispheres and a cylinder. The radius of the larger hemisphere is given as 5.4 cm and the radius of small hemisphere and the radius of the cylinder are both 3.6 cm. The height of the cylinder is given as 6.5 cm. Show that the volume of the solid is 692 cm cube correct to the nearest cubic cm. The volume V of a sphere with radius r is given by the formula V is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube. So let us understand the question first. Here the figure of a solid is given. Now we can see that the solid is made up of two hemisphere. This is the first hemisphere and this is the second hemisphere. And there is a cylinder which connects the two hemispheres. The radius of the larger hemisphere is given as 5.4. Now let us consider this as R1. And the radius of the small hemisphere is given as 3.6. Let us consider this as R2. And in the question, they have mentioned that 3.6 is the radius of the small hemisphere as well as the radius of the cylinder. Now, once we have done this, we have to show that the volume of this entire solid is going to be 692 cubic centimeter. For that, we have to add volumes of all the combined solids. That is volume of the larger hemisphere plus the volume of the cylinder plus the volume of the smaller hemisphere. Now, hint given is the volume of sphere. So if volume of sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cube, then hemisphere is half of a sphere. So we have to just take half of the given formula. So here we are going to write the volume of the solid is equal to volume of larger hemisphere plus volume of cylinder plus volume of smaller hemisphere. Now we have to write the formula of each one. So here we have written volume of larger hemisphere 1 over 2 that is half of the sphere. So half of 4 over 3 times pi times r1 cube since here we have considered the radius of larger hemisphere as r1 plus the volume of the cylinder is not given in the question so we need to remember the formula for volume of cylinder that is pi r square h and since the radius of the cylinder is same as radius of the small hemisphere we have written here r2 for radius of the cylinder over here so pi r2 square h plus the volume of smaller hemisphere is again going to be half of volume of sphere that is 4 over 3 times pi r2 cube. Now we have to just substitute the values of r1, r2, height of the cylinder and radius of the smaller hemisphere. Now we can further simplify this formula that is 2 divides 4 so 2 1 times and 2 2 times is 4. So it becomes 2 over 3 pi r1 cube plus pi r2 square h plus Again, the same step repeats here, that is 2 divides 4, that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 2 times is 4. So this formula becomes 2 over 3 pi r2 cube. So here in the next step, we have already done the substitutions for r1, r2, h and r2. That is 2 over 3 times pi. r1 is radius of the larger hemisphere, which is 5.4. So 5.4 whole cube plus pi times r2 that is radius of small cylinder is 3.6 so 3.6 square times height of the cylinder is given as 6.5 plus 2 over 3 times pi the radius of the small hemisphere is 3.6 the whole cube now the next step shows the value of each formula you can also put this entire thing in the calculator to get the final value now here i have taken up till three decimal places for increasing the accuracy now once we add all the three numbers together, we get the value as 692.156 or rounding it to the nearest cubic centimeter, we get the value as 692.2 centimeter cube. So this is the value of the volume of the solid. Now let us move on to the second sub question. A mathematically similar solid is made of silver. In this solid, the cylinder has radius 0.6 centimeter. 1 cm cube of silver has a mass of 10.49 grams. Calculate the total mass of this silver solid. So this question is based on similar shapes. That is this silver solid is compared with the solid which we saw just above. So let me consider that figure again. 
So here a comparison is made for the cylinder of this silver solid with the cylinder of the previous model. Here the radius of the cylinder for the silver solid is given as 0.6 and the previous solid it was given as 3.6. So let us write down a relationship between the volume and the radius of the similar solids. So the formula is volume of the silver solid over volume of solid is equal to radius of silver solid the whole cube over radius of the solid the solid the whole cube. So basically the relationship between the volume and the radius or volume and the height is going to be volume is proportional to the side cube. Now we know the volume of the solid from the previous question which we had got it as 692. So we are just going to take this volume of the solid on the other side of the equal to sign and multiply this with the ratio of the radii. So we have here volume of the silver solid is equal to radius of the silver solid is given as 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 the whole cube times now the volume of the solid goes over here and multiplies with the radius of silver solid and the volume we know that it is 692 from part 1 of this question over radius of the solid is 3.6 cm for the cylinder which is 3.6 so we are going to cube it using this formula. So this will give us a value as 3.2037 cubic centimeter. Now this is the volume of the silver solid. Now once we have got the volume of silver solid let us try to find out the total mass of the silver solid using the given hint. Now here let us make use of the cross multiplication method. That is the volume is given here and the total mass is given for 1 cubic centimeter. That is 1 cubic centimeter the mass is 10.49 grams. Then if the volume of the solid is going to be 3.2037 cubic centimeter then let the total mass be equal to x grams. This is what we need to find out. So cross multiplying that is 1 multiplies with x and 3.2037 multiplies with 10.49. So we get the value here as x equal to 33.6 grams. So this is the total mass of the silver solid. Now let us move on to the B question. AOB is a sector of a circle with center O. AO is equal to 10 centimeter and the sector angle is 216 degrees. Calculate the length of the arc of this sector. Give your answer as a multiple of pi. So here we can see that OA and OB are acting as the radius and we have a central angle given as 216 degrees. We have to find out the length of the arc AB. So we have the formula for arc length or length of the arc as theta over 360 degree times 2 pi r where theta is the central angle of the given sector and r is the radius of the sector. Now theta is 216 degree and r is 10. So simply substituting the values over here, we are going to write 216 over 360 times 2 times pi times r, that is 10. Now we have to find out the answer as a multiple of pi. So let us simplify this. Now 1 0 from the numerator cancels 1 0 from the denominator. Now 2 divides 36, that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 18 times is 36 and 18 1 times is 18 and 18 12 times is 216. So we get the value of length of an arc in terms of pi as 12 pi centimeter. So this is the arc length of the given sector. Now let us move on to the last sub question. A cone is made from the sector by joining OA to OB. Calculate the volume of the cone. And the volume V of the cone with radius R and height H is V is equal to 1 over 3 pi R square H. So here they have said that a cone is being made by joining the side OA with OB. So if we start rotating this corner that is OA this way. So we have rotated it once, twice and we keep rotating it till it reaches OB. So here it forms a cone as we can see. So these are the fractions of the cone formed. Now when we fold the sector it looks somewhat this way. So this is OA. So we can see that OA or OB. So we start rotating this side of the sector. So this becomes the slant height of the cone and we start folding the side OA. So since this is the slant height, the radius becomes the slant height L equal to 10 cm. Now this is the perpendicular height H of the cone and this is the radius. Now after we have folded the sector, we do not know what is the height of the cone and radius of the cone. So for that let us make use of the arc length of the sector. Now when we were folding this sector, this part of the sector becomes the circle. That as you can see, we have drawn it through dotted lines. This is the circumference of the given base of the cone. So here the arc length becomes equal to the perimeter or circumference of the base of the cone. 
So we can write here. So here we have written circumference of base of the cone is equal to the arc length of the sector. Now since the base is in the form of a circle, the circumference of the circle is given by the formula 2 pi r where r is the radius and arc length was found in part 1 of the b question as 12 pi. Now here the pi and pi divides each other from both the sides. So taking 2 on the other side of equal to sign, 12 gets divided by 2 giving us a radius of 6 cm. So now we have found out the radius of the cone as 6 cm. Now we have to find out the perpendicular height of the cone. We have to find out the perpendicular height because it is there in the formula to find the volume of the cone. So to find out the perpendicular height, since we can see that the perpendicular height, the radius and the slant height forms a right angle triangle, we can use a Pythagoras theorem to find the h. So let me write here. The slant height is acting as the hypotenuse. So L square is equal to h square plus r square. Since we have to find out the h square, we make it as the subject. And taking plus r square on the other side of equal to sign, we get h square is equal to l square minus r square. Now shifting the square on the other side of equal to sign, we get h equal to square root of l square minus r square. The value of l is 10 and the value of r we got it as 6. So substituting over here we get square root of 10 square minus 6 square which gives us the value of height as 8 centimeter. So now we have got the height with us that is 8 centimeter the radius with us that is 6 cm. So now making use of the volume of the cone formula that is 1 over 3 pi r square h we have here 1 over 3 times pi times radius is 6 so 6 square times h is 8. Now this will give us a value as 301.6 cubic centimeter. This is the volume of the given cone. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you found this video useful then you can click on these playlists where you can find more questions on circle theorems and mensuration. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.